Alrighty, so today we're making a goosey soup. It's the goosey, it's already ground. I'm using uh, beef, diced beef, instead of stockfish or catfish because I'm allergic. And here are my peppers. Here are my onion and my tomatoes. So first I put the meat in the pot. I'm going to put some water in it and put some seasoning in it and then I'm going to let it cook. Okay, so I chopped up some um, bell peppers and tomatoes and I'm about to blend them up in the blender. Alright, so this is what it looks like once it's blended. It's like a smoothie type of consistency. I'm about to pour it into the pot with the palm oil. So I put some palm oil in the pot. Uh, it, it's hard to squeeze out, so I might put a little bit more, but it's really difficult to squeeze out. Yes, sweetie? So this is what it looks like right now while it's cooking. Um, that's about it. Okay, so while that's looking like that, I'm going to take some of this broth out of here and put it into the goozy that's in a bowl. And it's going to soften up the goozy. Okay, this is what the goozy looks like without any water or broth. And I'm going to show you what it looks like with the broth. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the broth in there. I added some water because I didn't take all the broth out of the pot. And I wanted it to be softer. So, that's what I did. Alright, so here is my Maggie. It's the shrimp kind. Um, I added two of these to my pot. And I stirred it in. Now I'm about to stir in my goosey and let it cook for a while. So I put the goosey in the um, pot with the other ingredients and I'm about to cover it and let it cook. So instead of using bitter leaf, I'm using um, baby spinach. That's because this is what I have here. Plus I don't like the taste of bitter leaf. So here I go. I'm going to put it to the side and chop it up. So I just added some of the spinach to the mixture. I'm about to stir it and turn the heat down. Okay, so I put the meat in here. Uh, along with the rest of the stock and so I'm gonna let it cook down let it so let it get dry again and then it's gonna be ready to eat all right so it's not completely done yet uh, when you where you see those bubbles at if they're just holes left over then it's done but it's still cooking because there's still bubbles so I'm gonna let it cook some more and I forgot to uh, tell you guys that I added seasoning to the meat uh, so I added salt pepper um, I think paprika and uh, that's it but I just seasoned the meat a little bit and then I put it um, into the mix with the egozi and stuff um, you can season however you like the seasoning does make the flavor pop a little bit more um, it already has a lot of stuff in there like the onion is really strong but um, it all works together and it, and it tastes good so try that